Hey YouTube, this your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. And I'm in the house, you guys, to do your monthly reading. This is going to be for us Aquariuses. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I'd like you to do is go on and, and look below in the des description, excuse me, <laughs> and um, hit the um, Instant Go so you can follow me over on Instant Go, okay? Uh, they got some new features over there. Um, and I want you guys to go check it out and, you know, join me if you'd like to have a quick question answered for you. I can get to you right away. Okay. That's instant go. And it's the link is below. Just click on it. It'll take you right there. Thank you all who already, uh, came to the, to my, um, my site and, um, and joining me there. I really appreciate you guys. Okay. Now this is for sun, moon, rising and Venus signs of Aquarius. Okay, um, and remember these energies that come in that I'm delivering to you from spirit, they can go vice versa. So if it's not happening to you, it could happen to, you know, it could be the other person. And it's not going to resonate to everyone. Remember that. That's why I always suggest that you go over and watch your and, and get your other signs, you know, your um that's in your natal chart. Look at those videos as well. You might can get some information from there. But remember, these are just general readings. We're reading for a lot of people out here, okay? So, you know, if it's not resonating with you, again, you know, you may want to inquire about a personal private reading and even through the messages that come in if, you know, you're still, you know, at edge or, or, or wondering what's really going on. A personal private reading would really, really benefit you. You're welcome to contact me. All that information is below in the description. And remember, you know, these, uh, the court cards has no gender because we're reading for a bunch of people out here. Okay. Bunch of people. So there's no gender on here. Um, when it comes to the court cards as well, again. If it's not resonating, it's not for you, okay? All right, thank you very much. Now, I'm going to first go out and do intuitively for you. I'm going to say some, you know, what I'm hearing and what I'm, if I'm seeing anything for you guys, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading. Okay, Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Um, for a lot of you Aquariuses, I feel like you're going through a transformation. Um, you're like... It's like something old is going out and something new is coming in. You're starting, you know, you're getting you're getting all these messages and signs and dreams. A lot of you Aquariuses are up at night as myself. I am too. And, and it's like you're wondering what the heck's going on. Well, you're receiving a lot of information, especially if your ears is your, if it, let me know in the comment section, if your ear has been like, seem like it's buzzing or like a, mm, something like that. Okay. Let me know in the comment section that that's happening to some of you Aquarius is because what you're getting, you're receiving messages. It's like almost like a transmitter and you're receiving a lot of information and you're getting a lot of dreams as well. Okay. But there is the ending of, of, of your old self in a brand new you is evolving some type of transformation. I feel like a lot of you are going to hear from somebody that you've um, been wanting to hear from in a, lo a long time. And this person or somebody wanting to hear from you. Remember, the messages can go vice versa. So you, uh, I feel like it, you're going to hear from somebody. Or for some of you who are single, you're going to hear that there's a new relationship starting up for you. Okay. Somebody is coming in really, really fast. This is right after your transformation. Somebody else is coming in. Something new is beginning for, for you guys. Even if it's someone from your past, it's still something brand new. Either they could be transformed their life and changed or it's you. But I do see a lot of messages, like text messages, phone calls. I see a lot of communication going on around you, Aquariuses. Uh, and I do see visits, too. I see visits, like um, somebody coming to you or you going to someone. There's visits because I feel like there's space. There's some space in between you and someone else that's, and like I said, this could be general too, okay? It doesn't have to necessarily do with love. Put it in ha how it goes. If it's general, family, friends, all that fits into this, what I'm saying. So, and lovers and marriages, okay? It all, you know, it all could, it just 
fit it in the if it resonates with you fit it in how it goes it could be family members it could be friends relatives um and lovers but i'm feeling like there's a a a, a um a distance between you and someone else or someone you around that you see and you talk to and you text and you visit you have to visit them and they have to visit you and i feel like there's good fortune around that situation i really do i'm feeling really good about that situation if you guys if you're starting out if it hasn't happened yet you know after your transformation boom here it comes something comes up from your past or something brand new is going to begin for you and it's going to be a lot of communication for a lot of you it's going to be distance between each other But I'm feeling really good about whatever is going on. It's like you, you're you going to feel like you're on top of the world. You're going to feel very fortunate. For some of you, you are going to be fortunate in money. When it comes to money, you're going to be in good fortune. You're going to receive a lot of uh, communications regarding money. Some of you are going to get a, um, a payout or a payoff. Some of you are going to get inheritance. I feel like there's an inheritance coming to some of you out there. And it's going to put you on top of the world. It's going to put you on your A game. Some of you are working really hard and you're going to get a promotion. More money is coming to a lot of you Aquariuses here. Or some of you are going to tie, be tied up with someone who has money. Good fortune, okay? That's what I'm feeling for you, Aquarius, is good fortune in, in all ways, okay? Always. Remember that. Okay, now let's get on with the reading, Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has in store for you. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody coming in that you've been waiting for, okay? You got the um, Six of Wands. Um, it's going to be victorious. Somebody's coming in with a positive attitude um, and they want to even give and take with some balance and stability. Somebody's coming in with some balance and stability and it's um, something or someone that you've been waiting on. Some of you could be dealing with a Aries, Sagittarius or Leo because both these cards are of fire signs. Okay, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Somebody's coming in here. And they coming in with some stability and balance, okay? And with the three of wands, you feel like your ships has come in. Something you've been waiting for, something you've been hoping for, something you've been dreaming for. You see it coming in and you're going for it, okay? That's what the three of wands represents, okay? So, good. These cards are, whew. Aquarius, 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 and that's for some of you, okay, not going to resonate to all, okay, wow, you got the, there's a couple here, okay, okay, a king and a queen, so there's a couple, you know, could be male, female, could be um, um, same, all right, which I'm picking up here is uh, the Queen of, um, of Swords, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and a King of Wands. Some of you are hooking up with a, a, a fire sign, and it could be, it, fire could be in, if it's not a fire sign, it could be in their natal chart as well, or they could be an air sign as well, okay, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But this is a power couple right here, okay? You see me shuffle the cards, okay? I can't make this stuff up. Some of y'all been waiting on somebody or somebody's been waiting on you. And they're coming in with some balance and stability. For some of you, I'm feeling like it's from your past. For some of you, it's brand new. And you see this person as like potential with the three of wands. It's like you're going to go for it, okay? Three of Wands is somebody who takes action and they can see their ships coming in. It's like they they feel like this is great. And what it is, this telling me spirit is a connection here. Two people 
who is a king and a queen. Aquarius, this is your energy. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You may be hooking up with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And it's a power couple situation. It's a it's a soulmate connection. And like I said, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that particular sign. Okay, so don't take the signs too seriously because this is a general reading. It could be any sign. All right, it could be any sign. Okay, we got the um, the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's coming here with some stability and balance, okay? Some of you could be uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, there's going to be an even exchange here, even give and take in this relationship. Yes, it is. Sixes is all about, e it's an even number. It's about balance and stability, especially with finances, okay? It's going to be an even exchange, if you can see here. And, you know, two people are going to be very... Um, giving towards one another, whether it's finances or whatever it may be, there's going to be an even give and take here. And with the high priestess, um, this is telling me that um, you already knew this. You know, you already knew, you already used your intuition regarding this situation. Some of you seen it coming or knew it was coming. All right. Some of you, like I said, you used your, your intuition regarding this situation. Or it, for some of you, I'm hearing that, you know, your 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 ancestors, your spirit guides is the one that's blessing this union. Especially if it's somebody from the past who came back in. Um, you already had intuition about it. You already heard it from your spirit. God. You heard this and you knew about it already before it even came came about. And for some of you, you need to use your intuition. Those who are single, use your intuition when it comes to this. It's going to be an even give and take, an even exchange, a power couple. Wow. Some of you may be pregnant, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, you may be having a baby. All right. <laughs> Congratulations to some of you who you may be pregnant already. And with the two of pentacles here, it's like you have to balance this out. This is going to, you know, balance out here. It could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Some of you may can have a child who's pregnant. If y'all together as a marriage, because I'm feeling like some of you are married to this person. And you may have children by them. And that child may be pregnant. Um, you may have a child who's an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And... This two of pentacles is where um, there could be an energy of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. May have a daughter or something that may be pregnant. Or that is doing well for themselves. Or they have, a, a, you know, trying to balance out their life. This is showing, you know, somebody trying to balance out their life, trying to see which way they're going to go here. All right. You got the magician card here, okay? The magician is like, you know what? You guys can pull it off. You can do anything that you want to do. This is something that you can create. And you can create this and and uh you can create the life that you want to create, okay? And it's with this emperor, somebody who is very stable, balanced. Um, they usually are a married person or someone who is in a long-term relationship. Um, somebody who is like, they kind of like are very much in charge of their life. Okay. They, they're very, they're stand, they, they stand their ground. They could be a bit stubborn at times. This Aries, it could be an Aries for some of you. Okay. They can be a bit stubborn. But they manifested. Somebody came and manifested this relationship. And like I said, some of you are of child. If you look in these cards, both of these people are pregnant or of child. Look at their stomach. 
So something about pregnancy here for some of you or may have already had a child. And, you know, there's plenty of stability there. Somebody's got your back who may be an Aries. And, it, it, and somebody manifested this situation, okay? So let's go. Very good. Very good. First positive reading I have so far. Okay, some messages for Aquarius. What are some additional messages for Aquarius? Okay, somebody came in offering their love, okay? Some of you, um, if you're single, love is coming in for you, okay? And with this being the uh, the knight or the princess of cups, they're full of passion. They mean what they say. They are passionate and they are wanting to give you that cup of love, honey, okay? And for some of you, it, it's already, it's already, wait a minute, let me get the card out that was going to fall out. It's already in motion, okay? Somebody offered you their love. Um, in your recent past here with the tower card, I feel like whoever this person is offering you love could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not necessarily. could be any sign. In the past, I feel like you guys uh, have broke up or there was a, um, a blow up or a separation. Two people going their own way, okay? Um, it, it was an abrupt it happened really really fast um and unexpected okay it was an unexpected something unexpected happened here in the past uh regarding a love okay but i'm hearing that this had to happen because something wasn't on solid ground here something wasn't on solid ground and sometimes Spirit has to come along and knock the situation down so you can rebuild on solid ground. Because I feel like this is a person that's coming back in to put this on solid ground and rebuild again for some of you. For some of you, it may be a split. But see, they're bringing on some type of... This could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay? And they're bringing... Again, the Pentacles, they're bringing stability back here. They're not, you know... They've changed. There's some changes that have been made here. All right? From a breakup. They changed their self because of a breakup. Or, you know, maybe they had some kind of a... Uh, uh, they had some difficult times after you and this person broke up. Or if even if somebody knew. I feel like they, went, they had to go through some shit. That's all I'm saying. They had to go through some stuff. And now they're balanced. Okay? With the Six of Pentacles. They're balanced now. They're back on their A game. But they had to they had to suffer dearly. Dearly. They had to suffer. And some of you could be you too. Because they're coming back with balance and stability. And they're happy about it. Look, he got a smile on his face. Caring, giving, loving, balance. Yep, they got their A game on, okay? King or Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is an actual person. And the King of Pentacles is somebody like the magician in the um, tarot deck, okay? Because they have all the tools necessary. They make things happen. They're very balanced, very structured. They use all their tools that they have. And you know what I'm talking about. You know, they got the coin. They got the uh, sword. They have the cup for the love, cup of love. The sword for the swords of truth. The pentacles, that's their energy, you know, uh, being stable and grounded. And then they have the wands for action. Okay, that's what this this person has it all the way together. They're very much upfront and honest about themselves. They're 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 king. They're a king. They're a king. And they pretty they got their self together here. They're very stable and balanced, and they're coming in with um with stability and with the even give and take. It's like they want to share now. Um yeah, they but they 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 had hit they had a hit a uh they had to hit rock bottom first, okay? 
or you know vice versa this could be you Aquarius yeah some of you are dealing with a Virgo in particular okay the hermit represents a Virgo so some of you Aquarius is out there maybe dealing with a Virgo not necessarily like I said don't take it it could be any sign but I'm just reading from what's here okay so yeah this person <laughs> has got their shit together they went inside themselves they took a break okay they had to take a break in order to become that king they had to withdraw they had to go to themselves and they thought about this for a long time um to even come forward I'm hearing it took a long time to come forward or you Aquarius if it's you doing this it took you a long time to come forward because you had to ground yourself you know and you had to make some major changes within inside yourself so you went within um, you withdrew from family and friends and you 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 started thinking you know it was a thinking process and you know you persevered through some of you may be dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You persevered through all the whatever, whoever you or this other person had to. You know, you you came out on top here. All your battles are in back of you now. You defeated whatever it is that you went through. That's a lot of fighting that you had to go through, but you know, you still persevered anyway with the uh, with the Nine of Wands persevered anyway even through your battles but your battles are behind you now for you or this other person suffered a lot they they went through a lot but they back on their feet they're king or they're queen of pentacles both of these are earth energies so is this earth energy. You got a lot of earth in your, uh, either some of y'all got earth in your natal chart or you're dealing with the earth sign. Who has got their shit together or you have your shit together too. And it was a struggle, but you made it or the other person made it through after some heavy thinking and going inside their self. All right. That's what I'm seeing here. Give me one more card for the sign of Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. You got the two of wands. Somebody here really went through something, okay? You or the other person, all right? And you press it. Look, you made a choice. Somebody made a choice after some battles and shit that they went through and conquered and conquered each and every one of those battles. But it was a battle nevertheless because this could be a wounded soldier. Somebody wounded, but they had to make a decision possibly from, from uh, dealing with two people or just making plans for the future. That's what the two of wands is all about. Making plans and then taking action. So this person took some type of action or you. It could have been an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo for some of you, a Virgo for some of you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And for some of you, it could have been a... Uh, uh, could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And look, y'all got a new beginning. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, the wheel have turned in your favor. You, you Aquarius, y'all been up on your game plan. Y'all been, you know, like I said, transformations. Something in the past came to an end, but it ha it, it all happened for a reason, for stability and, and balance to come out of it. That's why. And, you know, it made somebody a king or a queen out of the transformation, out of this uh, blow up or break up of something from uh, a past love. Okay? And now they're coming back in with a love because they've been through hell and back, or you've been through hell and back, you know? And now they've redone their whole life. They're planting their seeds the build on solid ground. Look at that. Now they want to, you know, they want to give that uh, a fair share. Now they want to do their fair share, okay? Because why? They the freaking king or queen now. They done totally transformed their life. They learned from the past or for whatever they went, whatever battles they went through. 
Okay, they persevered and they learned their lesson. And it could have been a Virgo. And somebody, you know, really went deep inside themselves. They got ghosts for a moment. They had to let they had to let a lot of past stuff go. They had to release a lot of, of junk. They had to get a rot rid of a lot of junk and they did that themselves. Or you did this yourself, uh, Aquarius. And now you made up your mind with direction that you're going and you got a plan or somebody else here had a plan and they're moving forward with that plan because, you know, uh, the wands are all about action, making the plan and taking the action after a long period of thought. Somebody could have been scared to come forth uh, because of, you know, all the battles and things or whatever they took you through or whatever you took them through. They, it took them a long time to come forward. So give yourself or give that person their props because this is bringing on a brand new beginning. You know, this is about, you know, coming full circle with someone in your life. You come in full circle, new beginnings. Everything has happened for a reason, uh, Aquarius. Everything happened for a reason. <clears throat> Whatever struggles that you guys been through, whether it's a new relationship or somebody from the past. <clears throat> um everything's turning out in your favor now so let your guards down you know let your guards down because now you have grace you're 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 you have grace now grace is by your side okay you're you're having a lot of playful times with this person okay you love yourself now, okay? And <clears throat> you're being loved and you're being very playful, very flirty with someone. Or someone is doing this with you. Or you're doing it with each other. And there's it's harmony. You know, it's like y'all go together. Y'all go together like a... <laughs> you're in, in sync with each other, okay? You're in sync with each other. And it all was a matter of choice. It was all because of a choice that you made or this other person made. It was their choice or your choice or both because it is, you know, synchronicity synchron synchron here. Did I say that right? <laughs> you both are in sync with each other, okay? And it's a time for celebration, all right? Celebrate your life, Aquarius. Celebrate your life. You deserve this. You come a long way. And whoever this person is, that's in your life come a long way too all right and it's time to celebrate now it, because of a choice that was made you made this choice or they made this choice and it's it's playful times now you can relax because you're in harmony you're 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 vibing on the right vibe right now okay and uh, it causes you know you to be light be, being light <clears throat> both of you being light and playful okay that's where the playfulness is coming, and it's by grace, the grace of the Most High, okay? <laughs> the grace of your ancestors. So enjoy yourself, Aquariuses. Enjoy yourself. You're in harmony. You're in balance with somebody by your choice or their choice or both. I'm looking at this is by both choices, both parties, and um, it's time to celebrate now. It's time to celebrate. Boy, I'm almost in tears over here. Okay. And what advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius? What advice do we have here? Give your relationship a chance, Aquarius. Whew. Sorry, y'all. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your relationship. <laughs> Flirt. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. <clears throat> Be flirty. Again, you got the playfulness card. There y'all go playing around with each other, okay? Being playful and joking around. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun 
to shine, have fun with each other, be lighthearted, be light, be light, okay? Be light. <clears throat> and stay optimistic, stay positive, Aquarius. Positive thinking and faith will bring you your romance, okay? And I'm just going to leave it at that. Some of you are getting uh, married because I keep seeing the wedding cards. Or some of you have gotten married this year. Some of you, if you haven't, you're going to this year. Okay? There's a lot of healing going on, too. I'm hearing that healing. Um, some of you gotten rid of codependency or your partners got rid of codependency. <sighs> keep seeing the wedding card pop up, okay? So definitely some of you are getting married. Uh, some of you, you know, um, there's attraction between the two of you, okay? Some deep attraction there. Soulmate connection. Twin flame type stuff, okay? So there you go, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Remember to subscribe, to like, put the thumbs up on their videos, y'all, and like, <laughs> and put your bell on um, so you can get, you know, all my, um, when my when my videos come out, you can get an alert or when I have some kind of specials, which I am going, there's one coming up. So hit that bell too, as you subscribe, so you can be in it. I'm giving some stuff away, um, some free readings, just stay tuned. Okay. But you had to have that bell on, um, some discounted readings. I might go live here. Just let me figure this out. I'm going to do something y'all. It's that time. And congratulations to all you Aquarius. If any of you, you know, have you, where you want a personal private reading, you can go ahead and reach me below. All the information is in the description on how to get in touch with me, okay? I don't know about my website. I'm going to have to look into that. I went to the website fine, but I heard a couple of people telling me that they couldn't get into the website, but that's okay. You can always call me or email me too. So the website is not really no big deal. I can give you the information that you need until I look into that and see what's really going on. But, um, you know, hey, have a good one, you guys um <clears throat> thank you for uh coming on board thank you for subscribing to all my subscribers i really really appreciate each and every one of you and don't forget to hit them co the comment section because i love to hear what you guys have to say um with that being said you know what truth shall set you free you guys okay take care until mid-month bye <laughs>